Hello Pisces, how are you? I'm doing a three card reading for this afternoon. Boy, my mind was blown away this morning about the tarot reading this morning. And you know, the spirits talk to me and that's what I go with the flow or whatever it is that the spirit is telling me to tell you, that's what I do. I'm so grateful to have this gift that I have. I'm super grateful for it. And um, I'm truly blessed. Pisces, send out the prayers for those in need, for those who are in suffering, for those who are homeless, for those who need shelter, for those who are hungry, for those who are hurt, abused, okay, or sit in the bed in the hospital or are sick, for those around the world, send the prayers to those who are physically, mentally, and emotionally in stress with anxiety. Okay, feeling homeless, nowhere to run. So my prayers to those. Okay, um, Pisces, please wear a mask. And if you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. Please don't kill me. All right, don't wear it if you don't want to. All right, just know that all the numbers are going up with the kids. And please, if you don't want to wear a mask, stay far away from everybody as possible because, you know, if you don't care, then please care for others, all right? Thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings. Thank you for all those who go into my store and order my sage and honey, honey, honey. Oh, my God. I got, uh, boy, these sage. I'll show y'all uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day about the sage. And someone ordered three, three um, bundles of sage, and um, it's beautiful. You're going to love the sage, honey. Yes, you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember that anything, any rating, or anything you do for me, I donate from that money to um, the cost that I have going on, which is um, my kids. All right? My kids. Um, November's coming up very quickly. We are already in September. Less than what? Uh, four, eight, nine, ten, ten more weeks. I will be going to the hospital and giving the kids gifts as much as I can. Okay? Here we go, Pisces. Three card reading. Tell me, spirits, what I need to know. 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 Okay, I need one more card. Complete this. Tell me, spirits, what I need to know. Tell me, spirits, what I need to know. Okay, so here we have one, 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 ten, ten, eleven, fifty-five. Okay, awakening and activations on at hand be on the lookout for the signs guiding you guarding you that way okay it's the yellow in the yellow is your solar plex okay your solar plex okay um that's your stomach your um your stomach is the place the part of your stomach it plays the part of your liver, your small intestines, the sh uh, blood sugar, the digestive system, okay? Um, the willpower to, con it says willpower and controlling, okay? Um, over self or others, the belief in um, um, versus self-criticism is in the mind, the thoughts that you put in your mind, all right? It's the yellow, the solar plex, okay? Um... You have here, there is a divine plan in order. Let go of your need to know the future events. Let go of, why don't you live in a moment? You should live in a moment. You know, stop worrying about what's going to happen ahead. Live for the moment. Because if you live for the moment, at least you won't be disappointed. You understand? Live for right now. What's the rush of living for tomorrow? Tomorrow's not even promised. 
But for right now, you can tell me what's going on right now. All right? It says, don't take um, opinions personally. Okay? People can only understand things from their own level of perception. Okay? People can only go by what they think. And don't take everything so personal about how people um, see things or feel about the difference of opinions, all right? And that you need to know. Sometimes we get wrapped up in what they think about what we're thinking and it doesn't meet eye to eye, so now we're upset and pissed off and ready to argue or get mad about it. But we're not looking at it in a way of what that person is trying to say, how they seeing it. Because we already know what we know in our own head. And when we do that, we really can really go left field real quick. Okay? People see things from their own level of um, perception. It don't mean that you got to see things your way. It don't mean that you got to see things their way. We all have our own way of understanding stuff, processing things, all right? All right, tell me, Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about what I need to know. Tell me more. Tell me more about what I need to know. Okay, it says, I am always enough. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. Now, the lighthouse, it says, don't doubt your worth. Now, somebody here is working with herbs, okay? Somebody here has got a lantern, okay? Somebody here is working with shells or maybe a tarot card reader, um, working with the stones, um, uh, reading a lot of books into herbs, into, you know, um, drawings, uh, Somebody here maybe have two tones of color in their hair. Uh, a lot of green, I feel. But um, or opening a store or making signs or making tarot cards or, you know. But someone here is, you are enough and just enough, okay? And you always going to be enough. You don't have to prove your point. You don't have to feel like you have to overdo or over, you know, um, see things in other people's way or impress somebody because you are enough. You don't need to prove your point to no one. It is what it is. What they see is what they're going to get. You don't need nobody's approval because your approval is what matters. Okay? Um, I see um, someone here Again, working with herbs, surrounding yourself with love, with people that love, people that believe in you, people that know your worth, okay? Um, I also see, again, a lot of herbs, a lot of um, um, plants, um, working with plants, working with candles, uh, uh, enjoying time with friends and family, uh, listening to music, um, relaxing, a time to be around people that love you, all right? I smell a lot of lavender. There's a lot of lavender around you. Maybe you're working with a lavender to scent, the plants. Maybe you uh, got lavender plugged in your plug-ins to make your house smell like that smell of lavender. Or maybe you got the plants lavender hanging in the bathroom or on your walls to get that smell. But it, I see a lot of lavender around you, all right? Enjoying the the family time, the friend time, the bond with people like you. They understand you, all right? They're doing the same thing. You're doing a lot of reading, books, candles, all right? Um, but then it says, the storm, every hurricane comes to an end. But, and now you... Literally thought that this storm would be the worst, okay? We're looking for a storm right now around 3 o'clock. But maybe you're looking at, like, this storm, right? 
But all it's doing is bringing little mud puddles. It ain't like a little puddles. It ain't like all this water like they saying. It's going to come. It's not going to be as bad as they said it was going to be. The storm is not going to be as bad as you think or what you've been through. You're coming out of it because you're still holding on your crown. You're not. It doesn't show when you soaking wet. Your hair is still put into place. You still got the, the bounce in your hair, but you you you've been through a storm. But it wasn't as bad as you know you may feel like it is. You will come out of it, right? It's like you don't roll the waves and you good. It's like you know it didn't take you to where they thought they was gonna take you. You rolled the storm and you. You still looking good as you coming out of that storm. All right? All right now. Okay, it says faith, the dice. The number 7 may mean something to you. With the with the storm, with this hurricane, with everything going, you know, you you're accepting it. You're like reading your faith. It's like the storm is coming, but you calm as fuck. You calm as shit. You're taking a chance on this to stay where you at when they're telling you to evacuate from the place. Um, a storm is coming, but you're like, I can ride this. I'm all right. I'm good. You know, it don't look like you're stressing. It looks like you really looking at your faith. It's like you gambling in with this, all right? You, you, you ride in the storm, okay? You're coming out of this storm. Everything seems to be, you're, you're like way up there with the storm because it seems like the world up under you seems small. It seems like you're in an airplane. It seems like, look at this. Everything looks like a patch. It's like you're very high up in the storm. It's like you in a storm. Like you're feeling like it's, it's, you're in there, but you, you okay because it's like you reading more about whatever you're going through. Right? Okay. Now, look. Again, is somebody here that's so fucking spiritual. It's unfucking believable. But look, look, look at behind you. Look at that shadow. Look at that. It's huge. Look at that. You got them wands on fire. Okay. You got the cat is looking at what, what, what is coming to you. But it's like you so grateful for everything, for for being okay, for riding the storm, for coming out of a storm, okay? But it's somebody here that is huge, it's, and I'm going to keep saying, it's like a doctor in what they do, okay? A spiritual doctor. It's like people come to for advice. People are seeking you, all right? Someone is seeking you to, to be in... A feel of a spiritual feel where you can tell people um, who's crossing over what that person has to say. All right. I feel like you are really coming into your own beliefs. All right. I feel like you're there. Um, make a move. I, I, this move that you're going to make after the storm is going to be for the best. It's going to bring you what you want. You're going to start feeling it. You're going to, some of y'all can be dancers. Some of y'all can have career in dancers. Some of y'all may love to dance. And I'm the type of person that love to dance. I love to dance. I love to dance. I haven't been to where I want to dance or being invited to dance because oh, I love dancing. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like I see um, you know, uh, magic moments. I see you at a river. I see you by a river or a pond or something where, you know, the fishes are there. Your wealth is there. It's wherever you at is around water is nurturing you. Whatever it is, you seeing all kinds of animals like, um, I don't know what they call these animals to be in the water with the, um, in the water with, with, you know what I mean? These right here. I don't know what they are. 
Um, but they live, you know, you see them on the walls or whatever. But it's something here that's telling you that the water is not crazy. It's just a, 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 um, it's, it's a fountain of, uh, you know, a river floating easy. It's not storming. It's perfect. You're grateful for everything you got. It's like you, you're using the walls to spark it up, but you're dancing the night away. All right? And it's two people. And you may be from two type of religion, or you may be from two different types of world, from two nationalities. Um, maybe that person ain't from this country. Uh, but I see that it's something here that's starting a spark between two people. All right? All right, let's get more on this reading. Um, the world car. I, I just feel like you really can have it all, but and it's, it's because you've been really handling your business. The page of the Ace of Pentacles touching your coins now. Now you're touching them. Like you got the world in your hand. Everything is there for you, but it's actually now you're touching your coins. It's like now you're you're back on touching the coins. You're feeling the coins. You understand? You got your hands on the coins. You got the hands on on that gold. It's like you 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 want it. You got it. Um, a new beginning, a new spark, a new career, a new business. Something here is opening for you. Okay, opportunities. All right. Um. It's a lot going on that you can have, all right? A lot. Uh, I'm just blessed. It's, it's a plan, um, a goal with an intention, with a direct focus and in faith. The beginning of a new, um, the beginning of something new, okay? It's the beginning of something new here, all right? Um, a task, a new idea, a plan, the seed of the future, a great potential for success, manifesting the power. Prosperity is you're coming into everything. You got the world, and then you got the sun, and then you 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 touching a coin, you touching it. It's in your hand. All right. It's not like it's not in your hand. It's in your hand. All right. It's a difference. If it wasn't in your hand, you got the coins. All right. Two of Pentacles. You it's you're juggling. It's a give and take. It's um, you know, it's the infinity. All right? It's like you're balancing everything. You're balancing career. You're balancing your life. You're balancing um, having fun. Um, you're balancing your, your family, your love, your this, your that. But it's, it's a giving and take. It's, it's what you want. You know, it's what you can have. Um, not over, you know, not over, uh, not over dreaming. Not, um living in tomorrow, but living into the moment, all right, your work, I feel like you got the coins, and whatever you got, you're going to balance things, it's someone here that's going to balance everything with you, but remember, you live in a moment, you can't live beyond that, you don't, you need to live in a moment, because if you start living beyond that, then you expand in everything, and then you can literally um, see things bigger than what it is, and then when things don't go your way, you get upset, right? But you got to live in the moment. You got to know what you want and live it for what that moment is, all right? You got a plan, but you execute your plan, okay, by living in the moment. You're talking to somebody about what you want. You're making sure that that person's on the same page as you are, okay? You, you're not forcing anything. You're not, um, you know, saying, oh, I want to get married. Don't do that. No, no, no. Just live in a moment. Enjoy their time. Enjoy your time together. All right? Start looking at everything and listening to what people say. All right? Stay focused. Because it's something here that you need to balance everything. Come to balance in your life. And it can be whether it's a religion, whether what you believe and what would somebody else believe. Or um, how you see things and how someone else sees things. 
or what somebody's bringing to the table and what you bring to the table. But it's got to be a balance. Okay, the chemistry got to be right for it to be right. Okay, it's not you give less and you give more. It's not none of that. It's, it's a giving and taking. It's somebody balancing you forever because you got the infinity sign. The infinity sign talks about what it, what you bring in and what they bring in. You understand? And that's what matters. Okay? What you create, what you bring in, what you allow to be. When someone can allow you to be the best that you are. When someone is not trying to make you be who they want you to be. When you can live for who you are. Can't nobody put no limitations in on you. It's what you are is who you are. Okay? It's your own approval for you. You don't have to have nobody approving of you. You don't need nobody approve you. You need to approve of self. All right? The need to balance many aspects for self. Juggling um, everything. But seeing harmony in what you do. All right? And that's what it's all about. All right? Sometimes you got so much going on in your life. That you don't have time to have fun. You don't have time to go out and have a dinner. Because your whole life consists of working, 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 and coming home and going to sleep. Work, work, come home and go to sleep. It's the same pattern over and over and over and over. And you got to make time for everything else that makes you happy. And that's when you come into the balance. Okay, because here you got um, the ace of pinnacle is happening. You got it in your hand. You created it. All right? But now you got to be balanced to everything you got around you. All right? You may be like me, busy, but I know I got to be balanced to whatever it is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's time for me to go out to the beach, whether it's, you know, time for, for, for me to be happy. You need to bring balance in your life. All right? Because you got the world here. You got the world, you got the ace of pinnacle is huge, it's the beginning. And then you got make, and then you got um the two of pinnacles. Balancing things. Okay? So right after the ace of pinnacles, you got the two of pinnacles, and that speaks a lot. Because after the ace, after the beginning, you come to balancing. It's like you got a plan. So you're thinking about the plan. Now you got the plan. Now you gotta make sure. That everything is written out in the plan and everything it is the way it is. To then, the blueprints, then you begin to do it. All right? So it's like you got it. All right? It's like you got everything figured out. Right? But now you need to put it into play. Okay? But you got to be balanced because you may have everything on the plate and you can't even see what you're eating because your plate is over um, packed with food or you got something going on, but you're doing so much that you can't even, you're drowning with everything you're doing and you don't take time to even breathe because you're like um, not having enough time for self. And so you need to make balance for yourself. You need to make balance for your life, okay? And start, take some of them, some of that heavy burden you got and let someone help you. Let someone be a part of this. Okay, and that's what it's saying. Let go a little bit. Okay, so that you can grow. So you can be balanced. It takes a little to give a little. It get, okay, you give a little to, and then you expand. Little by little. You can build your mansion. But you need to balance your life. And balance is everything. Because if you like this, then that means somebody is weighing you down. All right, somebody's breaking your back. Or if you can too much, that means you got everybody on your back. All right? And nobody is there to take some of that off of you. So you got to learn to balance your life. And to, to, to turn everything off and say, today is my day. All right? To get help from people that, that want to help you, that you can trust in. All right? Balance it so everything can work out. You understand? It ain't nothing like having balance in your life. Because you can tilt it over and be fucked up. Or you can balance it 
and enjoy life the way it is. You can have somebody that can get on your fucking nerves and not going to help you do shit and all it is to take. Or you can get somebody, right, that is willing to balance you. What do you want? Pisces, if you need more of me, get a private reading if you want some of me. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.